universal, universal themes. And Saxon, you're just really beginning your career. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, could you sort of relate to some of these archetypes that Clark had written, or was this sort of you kind of learning some new things about the business as well through your character in the film? Yeah, I mean, I definitely learned a lot from the film and you giving me this opportunity and stuff. But, you know, I have heard stories about, you know, the type of things that happen to good actors. And there's definitely, like, agents like Howard Holloway that are just kind of trying to get in, you know? Um, and there definitely is, like, a conflict of people that, you know, are good-hearted and have good morals in this business and then those who don't. And, yeah, I mean, I think I learned a lot. And Can I ask you a question? So yeah. I've never asked you this. When you read the script, you were younger then. You were, it was a, almost a year and a half ago. Yeah. As someone who was starting out in the business, did it scare you a little bit? You thought, God, is this what I'm getting into? <laughs> or did you, did, you feel like, or did you feel like it was something that was kind of fantasy? Yeah. Um, I mean, I feel very safe and protected by like, my parents and my agents. And, you know, I've got, like, I'm good, you know, in that way. But I definitely, like, had heard stories about, you know, what happens to child actors and, like, you know, parents making their kids do this and stuff like that. And that's why my parents were so, like, you know, not sure about letting me do this. Like, I had to beg <laughs> my parents to let me do this. And, you know, they had heard stories, too. But, you know, we've got rules and boundaries and there's stuff that I will do and, like, won't. So I wasn't scared of it just because, like, I know it's not going to happen to me. Um, so I just the, the, That's funny because I hadn't thought about this in so long. But when we were shooting the film, we had 20 days. Mm -hmm and a very small crew, and very little money. And, and just being frank, we had sometimes the situation where we hadn't got the shot yet. We hadn't gotten to the shot. We needed the shot to make the scene work, and we were getting right to the edge of the work hours, and yeah. it was late at night, and Saxon was getting tired, and I thought, oh my God, I'm becoming... <laughs> I'm becoming yeah. what the movie's yeah. about. Yeah. I have to beg her parents. And Frank, wasn't that his name? Yeah, Frank. The teacher. There was a, a wonderful teacher guy, and his job <laughs> was to protect her and to ke keep her hours. And I was like, oh, my God, I, I need her to stay an extra 10 minutes. I'm going to become everything that I'm preaching against. Right. And it's just, it's very easy to, lead, to slip and suddenly find yourself being everything that you're kind of saying is wrong with it. I'm evil. I've just realized it You're in this evil. interview. No, but there's a difference. Like, I want to do this. Like, I wanted to stay the 10 minutes. I wanted to get, like, you know, like... I know, but when we had you jump off that building, that wasn't cool. I jumped off the building. You've had a lot of success recently with the Marvel.